after discussing the anterior approaches, the anterior corridor, the posterior corridor, now we discuss about the complications. Being surgeon is to complicate. A good surgeon is the one who can correct his complications with minimal morbidity. To complicate does not make a surgeon bad. So, complications coming to this part of the world of this endoscopic skull base are predominantly three to four of them which I would like to discuss. The first and the foremost is a CSF leak and the CSF leak can lead to meningitis. So, now CSF leak can happen because we have gone intradurally and we are not able to cover the defect properly. So a meticulous closure, a three layer tight closure of the defect is must. If that doesn't happen, it's going to lead to an infection which is going to track from the nasal cavity and going to go to the brain. So this is of paramount importance to have a watertight closure. As I said, we have a three layer closure that we do. The first is by a duragen, which is nothing but a, a fibrin. A, that we use followed by uh, what I would like to say is a fascia lata flap and finally followed by fascia lata flap we put a nasoceptal flap sometimes people tend to plug it only with nasoceptal flap whose blood supply has gone down has been hurt in that situation it will necrose and it will lead to a fall smelling uh, smell fall smelling discharge coming out from the nose so CSF leak if it will happens one has to treat with antibiotics apart from that one has to sometimes might require a lumbar drains to be placed lumbar drains especially for a transclival tumor excisions where we have a large defect which has to be covered with a huge amount of graft material i am dr snehal shah i am an endoscopic skull based surgeon based in mumbai and we encounter this kind of complications we get referrals many for this for, to sort out these complications so based on my experience whatever little i have i would like to say that a meticulous three layer closure and packing it with gel foams the surgery cells is must patient should be given the instruction not to bear down should not to cough should be should be should be mobilized but with lot of care may not be allowed to confine it to the bed but patient can be mobilized with lot of care and all other factors have to be taken into account so csf leak is one of the most common complications that we can have and csf leak can lead to meningitis meningitis complication is one of the most serious complications to happen and this has to be treated with iv antibiotics and again re-exploration as early as possible the second most common complication may not be the most common but the one which is most dreaded complication is an injury to internal carotid artery we have lost patients due to injury to internal carotid artery we have seen in our training as well so meticulous dissection around the internal carotid artery is must we also have a end of clipper with which we can clip a part of it so balloon balloon occlusion test bot is something or bto is something which has to be done for those tumors which are around the internal carotid artery because if internal carotid artery is thinned out or it is or it is very close to it might get injured when we are dissecting out so bto if it confirms that with the opposite contral con uh, the contral circulation is good you can proceed with a lot of confidence this side at the same time at the same time what are the stroke rate what are the paralysis rates for falling injury they are I, as much as 10 to 15 percent they're not more than that so yes uh, not to panic when there is a bleeding when there is a, a spurter which is coming out either from the internal carotid artery or one of his branches we need to clip that up we need to pack it with muscle we need to pack it with muscle we have to keep close the case come back next day might pay, uh, shift the patient to a uh, uh, endovascular infirmary might we might have to occlude that so yes, better to do this kind of cases where you have interventional urology facilities available, especially those where you can do an endovascular procedures. So internal carotid artery injury is one of the most dreaded. Of course, to begin with, plug it with muscle, press it. It does stop. The crushed muscle will actually help in better control of the ICA bleed. 
so that is one of the another complication that we see because the field gets totally drowned with the blood it's a sort of a chaotic situation but the idea is that's how the character of a surgeon comes out where you need to maintain your peace and need to go about doing it and hence again a team based approach where a team of neurosurgeons with a skull based surgeon is one of the most important uh, asset for that particular patient in managing the internal carotid artery bleeds the third complication is a cavernous sinus bleed but cavernous sinus bleed can be controlled with uh, what we say is a flow seals that we use which are nothing but the fibrin which is injected and which helps in control many times we have to do a trans cavernous approach a medial cavernous sinus approach for that we need to transpose the pituitary and expose the and open up the medial wall of the cavernous sinus which is then going to be taken care of so not to worry if there is a cavernous sinus bleed the fourth complication that I would tell is which is very common is when we are hurting the blood supply of a nasal septal flap probably we are drilling around that area and we sacrifice that in that situation the best is to abort a nasal septal flap and take out uh, what we call as a, a inferior turbinate flap or even the middle turbinate flaps can be used or we can also use a contralateral flap although the access may be difficult to cover the opposite side but by and large nasal septal flap from the contralateral side is better taken care of so nasal septal flap if not from this side from the ipsilateral side it can be controlled from contralateral side as well so nasal septal flap is not the only flap though it's a burkhaus flap also called as hadad flap but it has also got other we also have some other options uh, bearing the nasal septal flap so i'm uh, so to follow more for this kindly visit my site thank you so much